Wild Isolation, day 67. I put the trail cam out last night for the first night in a couple of nights. And uh, we got this little wood mouse on the lawn. I think he was having a little nibble on the hedgehog food that we put out. And the hedgehog came as well. I don't think he's actually in the hog house at the moment. Uh, there's been a couple of spiders webs across the entrance for a couple of days which means he hasn't been going in or out um, but that might be a good chance to put some fresh hay and leaves and things in there I don't know I need to read up whether that's safe to do that I'm sure somebody can help me with that one now you probably can't see at the moment but this pyracantha at least I think that's what it is is covered in bees today we've never had it flower like this before it's been in for years. It's absolutely covered. It's amazing. Just going to check see if we've got any new species. No, not at the moment. I can just see buff tails, red tails, and honeybees. Superb, though. Superb. Something else new I'm going to do today is I've collected some little jars and I'm going to sink these into the ground to make some pitfall traps. I'm going to leave them covered during the daytime, uh, but open them up last thing at night and then inspect them first thing in the morning um, just to see what other kind of bugs and creepy crawlies we get in the garden. So there you go, that's finished. Well, that's one in anyway. We just had a new species for a garden, a butterfly, a small tortoiseshell on this pyracanthus. This is it's just giving us so much, this plant at the moment. Get some shots of it as well. Never quite opened its wings, but you got the odd flash of the colour. So that's another day done. It's been a really busy day today. Loads of bees again, putting in the pit traps. <laughs> that uh, small tortoise shell, tiny little matter of that. Fantastic. I'll see you all tomorrow. Look after yourselves and look after each other. Ta ta.